Leo, don't well, then would you please have Lieutenant I, I, Fry contact me as soon as possible? Really? Well, that's exactly where we are. What a coincidence. Great. Well, look, just have him meet us here, then. Thank you. <laughs> what, a coincidence. what is happening? What are you doing? <sighs> Lieutenant Fry is already here, Mother, in the morgue, getting acquainted with your victim. Tell him to stop this. Tell him. He's trying to drive me crazy, your brother. He's, he's, that's what he wants to do. He still wants to have me committed. No, no, I no, know no. You see, plans have changed, Mother. Now that we have a dead body with your name all over it. You know, I'm not listening to you. Leo, please make him stop talking. I saw talking. the body. I saw the body. It was Larry. Oh, my God. Larry's really dead? Yes. Larry's really dead. Oh, great. Here we go, folks. Get ready for a close-up. Can we not enjoy this so much? Let's just do this. Listen to me. Come here. Okay, the police are going to want to talk to you. All right? And you have to know what you're going to say. I suppose this is really happening. Yes, huh? this is really happening. Well, then I think I should call Palmer because he has the very best lawyers, don't you? <laughs> what am I saying? Palmer's not going to help me now, is he, Dad? Well, then, Leo, I don't know what to do. No, 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 no. He's not going to help you. You can't use him to do whatever you want. You shut your face, you little trip. Don't you dare come between me and my son. I would eat you alive. I think oh, Lieutenant you. Fry, perfect timing. Yeah, I got your message, Dr. Hayward. You said you had uh, information on the body found in Willow Lake? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, my brother ID'd him. He was in the employ of my mother. Mrs. Cortland? Well, well, if what my son says is true, he was my chauffeur, yes. And I am absolutely devastated to hear what happened to him. Well, then maybe you can explain to the lieutenant why your trunk was also in Willow Lake. I don't see why that's relevant. And how a bracelet belonging to Larry happened to be in the trunk. Wait a minute, are you... Are you trying to tell me that this body was in your mother's trunk at some point? All I can tell you is that my mother had Leo and me carry that trunk out of the Valley Inn. And it was very happy, wasn't it, Leo? <laughs> well, what's the story, Mrs. Cortland? <laughs> what was in the trunk? Why was it so heavy? This is utter nonsense, nonsense! Yes, Larry came to my new home. He, he took my trunk along with all of my jewelry. And he left. He was very, very much alive, I swear. Mother, please, for once in your life, do the right thing. Don't you see you're only going to make it worse for yourself if you don't? Just do the right thing. Leo, I don't know what you want me to say. Okay. Listen to me, Lieutenant Fry will understand. OK, it'll be over in a minute. Larry beat me up, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Pretty savagely. And he threatened you. You were frightened, and you were upset. You tell him that. All you wanted was for Larry to leave you, leave us alone. Right, and that's the reason you killed him. You're right, darling. There's very little I wouldn't do for you, haven't done for you before. And yes, Lieutenant, there, there's nothing I wouldn't do for my... I would even kill for my two sons, no matter what happened to me. But in this case, I happen to be innocent. I did not kill Larry. Well, then there's nothing that I can do to help you. Well, Mrs. Cortland, if you had nothing to do with it, then can you tell me why... Both of your sons are accusing you of having committed murder? Oh, well, that's really easily explainable. <laughs> you see, they just haven't been themselves, neither one of them, ever since they've been under the uh, control of these two vipers. Viper? Oh, that's rich coming from you. Quiet, quiet, please, please. Look, Mrs. Cortland, I'm not satisfied that you're telling me everything. This, um, dead body, your chauffeur, was he also your lover? Well, now, Lieutenant, if he was, that's only a crime of the heart, isn't it? Well, maybe not. I mean, your last young lover, at least the last one I know about, he ended up dead too, didn't he? Well, what? That has nothing to do with this. I mean, did you argue with Larry the way you argued with Paolo? I mean, you are a year older, Mrs. Cortland, and maybe, and maybe your chauffeur was demanding higher wages for his services. <laughs> How All dare right. you? How 
how dare you. All right. We're taking you in for striking an officer. Oh, come for boys. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Lieutenant, I'm... Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I lost my head. But... Yeah, I'll think about it after we talk down at the station. Come on, bring Zsa, Zsa. Let's go. No, no, Leo, Leo, don't let this happen, please, will you? Please, darling. Oh, 